A neighbor's, this neighbor's about to call security on that jet going by. Security's on its way now. They probably think it's my Duramax. They're probably calling on that. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> Maybe not. Maybe I can just pull it off. To the channel we are about to head over to my parents again um, you guys can tell by the title of this one we are working on the old 85 we got a bunch of a bunch of stuff right here um, I think we might leave it where it's sitting right now might leave it on the grass lay down some cardboard um, I'll just bring all my tools over there and I think that'll be easier so let's go ahead and bring all this stuff over there and get started we were we were gonna move it but I'm not going to right now um, I think this is a good spot actually. Just move some of this other stuff out of the way. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. It looks like it's actually about to start raining. It's awesome. I hope it holds off, but we got... All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. It looks like it's actually about to start raining. It's awesome. I hope it holds off, but we got gaskets here, obviously for the rear. We are going to go ahead and drain the rear differential first. I'm probably gonna let it sit for quite a bit. I might even let it sit through the night, to be honest. Let everything, all that's old. I'll wait. The neighbors, this neighbor's about to call security on that jet going by. Security's on its way now. They probably think it's my Duramax. They're probably calling on that. Okay, anyways. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and loosen up the diff, pull it off, drain it, let it sit for a little bit, and we'll, we'll see what kind of condition the fluid's in. If it's all nasty, um, I have to do a little bit of cleaning in there. But uh, yeah, we wanna make sure every every bit of it's out because it is at least 20 years old from what I've been told. So um, let's go ahead and get a drain pan and this thing pulled off. Been leaking for a while, so I don't know how much fluid's even in there. One of the main reasons I haven't taken this thing out on the main road yet, because I am not too sure the condition of all the fluids on this truck. So let's go ahead and drain this sucker out. All right, guys, before I even get started, I am going to go grab a light because it is pretty dark and this camera's not showing up that good. So let me go grab a light real quick. All right, guys, that should be enough light. Got the SP tool light chilling right here. Magnet. That wasn't that bad actually. They don't seem to be that tight and that might be part of the problem because that was not that tight. Get a screwdriver up in there and try to uh, maybe not maybe i can just pull it off yeah <laughs> yeah that was not a tight seal i can tell you that much we're gonna have to take a look once the cover is actually off let me get this one off so i can get a little bit more out yeah i was told it hasn't been changed about 20 years if that's the case this truck hasn't been used much in 20 years which is kind of not not a good thing but all right let's go ahead and pull every bolt out and uh, set them aside
That don't look bad at all. The gasket was horrible. <laughs> like whatever they use for gasket material, whatever, you can tell it was not doing its job. Yeah, I'm gonna let it just keep dripping and dripping and dripping. And uh, yeah, then we'll fill this sucker up. All right guys, well, his gasket material is actually coming off really easy. It's pretty brittle actually though. All right, let me go ahead and knock this out and then we'll clean the rest off. Even though the fluid didn't look too bad, the uh, the gasket was in pretty rough shape. And of course, you guys seen where it was leaking. So it needed to be replaced either way. This one doesn't look horrible as far as like the fluids go. Um, it just looks like it wasn't used much and just sat. That's kind of why this wasn't holding up well, I guess. I have no idea. All right, guys, I'm trying my hardest not to get this camera destroyed with differential fluid and all this gross gasket material but uh i'm kind of making it work this thing's pretty clean so i got there's still like gaskets left over in there but for the most part it's pretty clean I'll just take a wire brush to the outside of it and then just spray over it and uh and then we'll be ready to bolt it back up i still gotta make sure the surface on the differential itself is is good enough it's still dripping a little bit i'm gonna clean that off um i don't think i'll have to scrape much maybe just a light high grit sandpaper just to get the any surface rust or whatever i actually have a real gasket i'm going to use this time i'm going to use silicone and also a gasket i'll use a silicone to kind of hold it in place the, the real gasket and uh i'll probably just run a small bead get most of it out of there i'm gonna use some degreaser too just to get some of that uh, diff oil off so I can paint it properly. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. Make sure it's dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint it real quick. All right, yeah, it's almost done. All right, we got the gasket just kind of set up there. Um, I got some silicone holding it up there. I ran a small, a small bead behind it, just along, just to hold it up there. Um, the other, the diff cover is about to be done drawing. It's pretty much done. I can probably go grab it now and get this put in place. That should be good guys. Now we're gonna have to, we'll have to back the little fill screw out and then we'll fill the sucker up. All right guys, now we're about to go fill that sucker up so it'll start, until it starts coming out of there and uh, this thing will be done.
about done dripping. All right, she's all done. All right, just like that, we are all finished. Let's check it, make sure. No leaks, here, let's transfer it. No leaks so far, that's a good sign. Fresh fluid in there. It's one of those things where the fluid actually didn't, the fluid didn't actually look that bad. Um, the gasket in there, was in rough shape you can tell it was in there for a long time it just doesn't seem to be used that much um, it was leaking so it needed to be replaced either way so that's what i just went ahead and did that um, the front one i'm gonna probably leave and maybe change next week and uh oil and trans fluid i'm gonna check definitely gonna replace the oil um, i'm gonna do probably synthetic in that and slowly but surely this thing's coming back to life guys just kind of knocking out the your general maintenance stuff. The brakes on this thing seem to be pretty good. Um, and just a little small miscellaneous stuff that needs to be fixed here and there. This thing's not too far away from me being able to drive this at least twice a week. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable. So, um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Not super action packed for you, but uh, you guys wanna follow along for these builds. A lot of you guys like to see the hands-on stuff, so that's what you guys are going to get on this channel. Do it right in the driveway, which has its pros and cons, especially living in a neighborhood like this, but uh, it's worth it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, if, if you guys didn't know what vehicle this was, it's a 1985 military M1008 Cuck V, so um, it's got a 6.2 Detroit in it, one-ton axles, 14-volt rear, full float, and uh, it's going to be a really fun project, so... Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys like this video. Please give it a like if you did. Um, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>